The animal kingdom is full of many weird but wonderful creatures. From the great solitary hunters of the deep blue to the eight-legged arachnids that keep small insects in your living room at bay. The world is kept alive by the great circle of life. But none do a greater job as those who can be found flying in amongst the grass and the wildflowers. Bees. There are over 25,000 different bee species around the world. Only four of these species produce the honey that many use on their toast, for their tea, and as a natural remedy. Bees pollinate a third of everything we eat and play a vital role in sustaining the Earth's ecosystem. Without them, humans would last no longer than four years. Some 84% of the crops grown for human consumption needs bees to pollinate them. Honeybees in particular have 170 odorant receptors, compared with only 62 in fruit flies and 79 in mosquitoes. They use these abilities to communicate with the hive and for detecting food as well. Their sense of smell is so precise they can differentiate between hundreds of different floral varieties and tell whether a flower carries pollen or not from meters away. A honeybee will visit 50 to 100 flowers in one trip before returning to the hive to store the pollen or nectar they have collected as food for the entire colony. It is said that one litre of honey represents bees flying over an estimated 77,000 kilometres to gather the nectar needed to produce the honey. Honeybees, which are scientifically known as Apis mellifera, which means honey carrying bee, are environmentally friendly and are vital pollinators for most ecosystems. They have six legs, two compound eyes, which are made up of thousands of different lenses on either side of their head. They have three simple eyes, which are on top of their head. They have two pairs of wings, a nectar pouch, and a stomach. A natural bees hive is made with beeswax formed into thousands of hexagonal cylindrical pockets known as honeycomb. Commercial and most hobby beekeepers use wooden constructed beehives with wax or plastic foundations inserted into ready-made wooden frames for bees to build out on their natural beeswax comb. The most commonly used beehive is the Langstroth hive with the sole purpose of harvesting honey. This particular make of synthetic hive was first designed in 1852 and is the most common used as the wooden frames are easily separated from the walls, floor and cover of the hive. Within a hive, there are three types of honeybees that may be found. First, and most important for the survival of the hive, is the queen bee. The queen bee can live up to five years and serves to fill the hive with eggs. She may lay up to 2,500 eggs per day and has control over whether those eggs will be female or male. A hive will adopt the personality of the queen bee. Her passivity or aggressiveness is reflected in the actions of the colony. Second is the drone. These male honeybees have no stinger and do no work whatsoever. All they do is mating. In truth, prior to winter or as food comes in short supply, female honeybees will force surviving males out of the hive. Third is the worker bee. These bees will sting, but only if they're feeling threatened. And once they do, they die. Worker bees are female and they produce the honeycomb that comprises the hexagonal shaped cells inside the hive. Each bee colony has its own unique odour that can be used for members identification. Your fruits and vegetables, fodder for livestock and common consumables like tea and coffee rely on bee pollination for their growth. The annual global crop pollination by bees is estimated to be worth $170 billion. When people think about what bees produce, they often associate them with honey, but it doesn't stop there. In fact, bees produce many different elements that are the fruits of their labour, some of which we use and consume every day. Honey is a complex substance made when the nectar and sweet deposits from plants and trees are collected and stored in the honeycomb as a food source for the hive. Nectar, a liquid high in sucrose, is produced in the plant glands known as nectaries. It is an important energy resource for honeybees and plays a significant role in their foraging decisions. The temperature of the nectar will also impact on where the honeybees will go to forage. Beeswax is produced by worker bees. 
It serves as a material for the walls and caps of the honeycomb within the hive. Commercial uses for beeswax include skincare and soap products, furniture polish, and hair pompeii. The best known primary products of beekeeping are honey and wax, but pollen, propolis, royal jelly, venom, queens, bees, and their larvae are also marketable primary beekeeping products. Bees are designed to pollinate. Beyond their monetary value for maintaining our fragile food supply, they also have an invaluable contribution to ecosystems around the world. It is no wonder that with their such intricate cooperation and highly organised society, that this small creature is not just fascinating, but is incomparable by vitality to the continuation of life on Earth.